Right, good day everyone. Ollie here. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Hunting, sparing, camping. That's me. Hey, we're out on a mission today. Um, we're going for a hike and camp for the night. More packed up, sleeping bag, bits and pieces, knife and stuff. Got my weapon if I want to kill a deer. Um, we may get one more in the morning. Um, but the plan is to get a feed tonight. We'll go whack a turkey for dinner, get a fire going, and uh, camp out. It's going to be a beautiful night under the stars. It's nice, clear night. So yeah, looking forward to it. Just get out to nature and uh, spend the night surrounded by wild animals. Pretty confident we'll get a turkey for dinner. I've got a spot I know where there's some turkeys at roost. So we'll go get one of those later in the evening. Um, and we'll just have a good scout for some deer. Um, probably only going to shoot a deer if I see something substantial. I'm after a bit of a stag. It's uh, coming into the, the rut season here in New Zealand. Almost coming to the raw, so there's some nice big animals around. Um, they're quite silly at the moment. They're just feeding up, um, getting ready to start fighting. So I'll update you once we get up to the top. I've got a spot where I want to set up camp for the night and we'll get set up and go for a walk. Set up first, get up to the campsite, get the tent set up, drop the big pack, and uh, we'll get the little backpack and we'll go for a nice evening walk. Right, I've just got some deer around this corner. The wind's blowing straight behind me, terrible. Um, not sure what they are, it looks like just to be a few hinds, but I'll get the camera out and zoom in and we'll have a bit of a look, eh? Bit of shade out of the wind, perfect. beautiful little clearings, patches in between these nice karaka trees here. Perfect little areas for them to hide up in, especially in this afternoon, evenings out of the shade. Little pockets all over the place, perfect for fella. Looks like those hinds ahead. Found me out and uh, I've moved on but that's all good. As we're not really aiming to hunt a deer tonight, perhaps in the morning, see how we feel. We're just out to get some dinner, that's the main goal, get a turkey. I think those deer actually haven't seen me. I just saw the arse end of one just cruising up into this bit of bush, so we'll poke around the corner and see how close we can get. National Park New Zealand so <sighs> gotta get get my fitness back up. Alright. They just cruised up into this bush up here. Bloody winds behind my back. Most likely they'll 
smell me any second. Never know that. Yeah, they, they winded me and ran off. It's all good. Probably about halfway up to the campsite. Another K or two. Not too bad, this is really steep. Tends to be the, the case this time of year. All the hinds will be hanging out. Um, they'll still be with a few young ones. And all the males are hanging out in the separate groups. There'll be all the spikers and the stags, bucks as we should say, or fellow um, hanging out together. And yeah, in a couple of weeks it's uh, it just all changes up and bucks are making noise and <sighs> trying to get some mating done and a bit of fighting going on and it's all go it's just it's just crazy and then a month or so after the after the rut they're best mates again after they've been trying to kill each other it's, it's fascinating
Well, that's pretty cool. These guys are just, they're right in front of me. Just the wind's blowing hard into my face. They just, they just can't smell me or hear me. Um, yeah, they're just chilling in there, eating some fresh shoots off some branches and on, off the trees here. So yeah, just young little stags. If that one with the uh, real thin antlers around tomorrow morning, I'll bolt him because it's shitty jeans anyways and there's, uh, there's a few stags around by the looks of it so yeah it'd be a beautiful eater so yeah we'll see what's around in the morning oh well i'm just going to start seeing up tent and i'll see if they even notice me they're, they're oblivious to anything Guys, see you in June. Still looking right at me. There they go. Up the dunes, big, fat, juicy animals. Beautiful. <laughs> Funny. Oh, well, that was a bit of a laugh. I'm um, just trying to find somewhere to tuck out of the wind now. It's quite strong and swirling. Um, yeah, might just tuck over here by the bush. Just found a beautiful little bit of bush here it's really secluded out of the wind and I believe there's some turkeys just down below they just roost down there so I've seen them there before but we're really nice and sheltered in here so this looks like the spot to pitch the tent it's gonna find a nice little bit of flat clearing and we'll get it up eh this looks good perfect two-man tent get this whipped up still probably got an hour or two of light so um, yeah we'll get this done squared away and then we're gonna go for a walk on dusk we'll come back grab a turkey whack that up and um, yeah have some nice turkey wraps I'll, I'll show you a bit of technique to preparing wild turkey all right let's do it
too easy. Tent set up, get our sleeping mat in here and sleeping bag and we're good to go. Look at the view. Harbour out there, sun setting bush, beautiful. Very quiet, very peaceful. Sleeping mat done. Alright, we've got our kitchen supplies, some much needed water, and that's about it. Get the fire prepared and go for a walkie. Alright guys, got the tent set up, neat little spot for the evening, nice and sheltered, um, got the big pack away, we've just got the bino harness, got the camera in there, got the binos, just going to take my little, little hydration pack, I often just use this as a day pack, it's perfect size, got the knife in there, um, as we'll get the turkey on the way back later. I've got my head torch. Um, yeah, let's go over. Go have a look what's around. Perfect time of night. We're about an hour to hour and a half off sunset. So just prime time for deer in the evening. Just spotted two two nice little mobs of deer right down the valley, kind of where I came from. I'll see if I can um, see if they're still there. They're on the move. Let's see if I can get some footage.
Oh, well, nothing too interesting really. Um, just more hinds. <laughs> Seen plenty enough of those today, so we'll um, cruise on out the back here and uh, try to cover some new ground. And yeah, we've still got plenty of light out here, so yeah, let's go for a walk. here about 30 meters away just up the top there we'll zoom in stupid if not just got scared by a rabbit actually <laughs> looks all right about 20 meters away now Just about to go down. Not too much light left. Just want to check one more spot for the evening. Chance of seeing a good buck. Otherwise, yeah, we'll cruise back. Start to get prepped for the uh, turkey hunt. Beautiful. turkey wrap hopefully to warm the guts all right we're um just at our last spot here i'm just gonna backtrack a little bit because i've come down a bit too close and yeah that wind's just gonna bugger me otherwise a nice big crater here it's sort of sheltered from all conditions of wind so it's a really neat spot for deer. Um, yeah, so I'll just head back towards campsite a little bit. Head down and um, you'll see what's down there. It'll be interesting. Such a clear sky. It's going to be just a beautiful night under the stars. Can't wait to um, head back, get, get back to camp later and have a feed and um, yeah, just take it all in. Just love camping. Absolutely love sleeping out in, in nature. <sighs> Can't beat it. A lot of people don't like to bring binos. Um, hunts like this, most people do, but 
we're in a thick bush um, but I, I, I rate by nose the, the amount of times you just can't quite see through a bit of bush and you know the deer's right there um, it can be a bit hard with the scope guys I'll um gonna hoof it back to camp and uh, we'll see you later for the turkey hunt eh? right we're doing it we're doing the turkey mission I've actually got a little slingshot I just found today so I thought I'd bring that along I don't know where it came from but um picked up a few rocks on the way up here and uh, the turkeys roost they roost up in these trees just down here somewhere um, so yeah we should be able to get really nice and close I'll either whack one over the head with a stick or we'll, we'll nail one in the head with a uh, the slingshot and um, then we've got a, a few wraps and salad and mayonnaise and salt and we'll get the fire going and, and cook it up should be delicious let's go all right let's do this all right, I just heard the uh, turkeys flap up into the tree here, so got a few rocks here somewhere. Got my rocks, got a slingshot, let's do this. I haven't used a slingshot for years. I just heard them flapping up here somewhere, so hopefully they're nice and nice and low in the branches. Where are you, turkeys? They'll be here somewhere. I think they're down a bit further, maybe. Aha, uh -huh. there they are. There's some. Right. Haven't done this before, but let's try it. That didn't go too well, I think I missed. Try again.
headshot. Well, absolutely smoked him. Beautiful turkey for dinner. Woohoo! Good old slingshot. Wicked. Well, well, we got the result. Well, we got the result. Nice turkey, and it's not too big actually. It looks a bit, a um, bit more of a younger one. So, yeah, not a, not a big old tough gobbler. So, um, perfect. We will get those breasts out, get them prepped, and get them on the fire. Yum. Right, I just dropped my slingshot somewhere here actually, so <laughs> better find that and then we'll uh, cruise back to camp. Beautiful, nice, nice turkey for dinner. There's camp, not going hungry tonight. Awesome. All right. Here's a fire, so before we press that turkey, we'll get this going. So that's nice and hot when we go to cook. Right, let's do it. All right. Oh yeah, love it. Absolutely love fire. How good. All right, let's get some more timber on there. It's going to be some good flavor from this fire as well because all this wood around here, it's a Pahutakawa forest. So you can have a beautiful, beautiful smoky flavor. We're away. Awesome. Right, we'll let that fire get going and prep this turkey. Right, so we're gonna breast the turkey. Tickle up, it's pretty sharp. Yeah, it's very sharp. Okay, so wild turkeys, there's not much, there's not much meat on the leg, bug raw. I'll um I won't waste it though, I'll bring that home with me tomorrow for the cats but what we're gonna do is just get that breast meat out just open it up it's a very small turkey this one but it's gonna be more than enough for my dinner look at the big big stomach full of full of food I've been eating all day so We'll just open that up, and here's our breast. Just go down the middle there. We'll just work our way around here, and it should just peel off, really. There we go. Along that center ridge. Won't be too fussy, and you get quite a lot of meat even after, even out of a younger, smaller bird like this. Get a nice big breast, kind of like filleting a fish, really. I'll just kind of peel it off. There we go. So it's a pretty, pretty small breast, really, compared to most turkeys. 
but the flavor on these on these wild turkeys is just beautiful um, but they are notoriously a bit tougher I mean nothing like your farm race bought ones but what we're gonna do with that is get it on here and basically smash smash it up just go to town on this thing I'm gonna whack it and just flatten it and do little strips like tenders and we'll cook those over the barbie it's gonna be beautiful so I'll get that other uh, breast out and we'll get both of them cooked up right over there we've got our two beautiful turkey breasts and I'm gonna smash the hell out of them with my meat cleaver try not get any sand and stuff in there but basically that's all we're gonna do bit of grass in there that's not a worry these are going to be so good um i've eaten quite a few wild birds um you know pukeko um peacock turkey whatnot pheasant um but yeah, wild, wild game birds can generally be quite tough. Um, so birds like turkey, when there are so many around, um, it's just such a good good quality, nutritious meat sauce, better than that crappy super, um, supermarket chicken. It's just disgusting. Um, if you can get your hands on some turkeys, it's just a matter of learning how to cook them. And this is the way for it. Right, those are bashed up real good. They should be pretty tender. Um, I'm just gonna cut them into strips and I'll fire over here. It's looking mean. And uh, we're just gonna get them on a stick and cook them over the fire. Got some wraps, got some mayonnaise, got some salad. Beautiful, so hungry. Can do nice thin strips. If I was at home, I would um, crumb these and uh, pretty much deep fry or shallow fry in panko crumbs, and they'll come out beautiful. Right, next up, we're just gonna get some salt on. Grab this random spice from home. It's actually for wild game, like deer and whatnot, but um. Should be right. Get that a good mix in. Oh, it smells beautiful. Haven't right. I tried to find some nice A-frame, uh, some nice sticks to use as a as a frame to cook over. But this is what I could find: one big random piece of Purukawa. But that'll work. So I've just got a little stringer running across there. And we'll just um, simply dangle them over the fire like that. Hang them there. Our tender strips. Then they should cook pretty fast. All right, we've got our turkeys, all turkey strips, just hanging above the fire here. And uh, yeah, plenty of heat. Nice bit of smoke. We'll just let them cook away and it should come out beautiful. Fingers crossed anyways. <laughs> Alright, let's try this piece I've had closer in there to the fire. Oh, it's come up alright. Not quite cooked. That little corner was there. Uh, beautiful. Mm, that, that spice mix really well. It's really well turkey. Anyways, we'll just finish cooking these properly. I don't want to get sick and um, mm, this is going to be good wraps. Right, they're actually looking pretty good. Coming on really well. Almost done, but I just want to um, make sure they're cooked properly and I'm just going to cube them up and just whack them in the jet boil and um, then we'll be good to go. So I'll just cook the dices up. Yeah, we'll just 
crank this up for a little while and kind of steam it away and just make sure they're, they're properly cooked. Beautiful. Got our good old best foods mayonnaise. Can't beat it. Look at our salad, coleslaw to go with turkey. And then we'll uh, get our turkey, which is slightly, very, very hot. Definitely cooked now. On top of there. Yum. Mm-mm. Fresh wild turkey wrap. Looks pretty good to me. Mm. I mean, it's still a slightly bit, a bit tough, but the flavour is so much better than the supermarket chicken. It's um, it's really good. So. There you go. Take your wraps. Mm. Well, I'm gonna enjoy my dinner, have a couple of wraps, and then um yeah, probably add a few more bits of wood onto the fire and geez, just just chill for the evening. It's such a beautiful still night. We'll catch you later. Catch you in the morning for a coffee. Well, in the tent, pretty buggered, had a good feed, turkey wraps, it was a nice afternoon walk, saw, saw a lot of deer and it's been nice, just been chilling next to the fire and it's been a real peaceful evening, just, yeah, getting out, camping and uh, hopefully have a good sleep, this is my new camping mat, this blow up thing, so um, it's feeling pretty good actually, so fingers crossed to get a few hours and um, anyways, we'll see you in the morning. Well, had a pretty good sleep. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, slept in. That's usually rare when I'm camping, usually get up at first light. Anyways, gonna have a coffee, see what's going on outside. Oh, what a morning. Can't see much. Big fog cloud there. Let that sit for a second. I'm still full from these turkey burgers last night, man. I was I was full after that second one. There's a lot of food, there's two turkey breasts, but um yeah they were tasty. Bit chewy, but uh yeah, usually after smashing them up like that they um they do tenderize a bit. I guess it's how I cook them on the fire and stuff, but if you if you get the turkeys at home, smash those breasts flat, get some crumb on them and give them a fry. Yeah, good man. Really good on burgers and stuff. They do tenderize up quite a lot, so I'm guessing it's just how I cook them on the fire and whatnot. So um, yeah, definitely give it a go at home if you can.
so good. Gotta have my coffee in the morning. Just enjoy my coffee. We'll pack the gear up and um, we're on our way. We'll cruise back a different route and uh, fingers crossed we might see a nice buck. Otherwise, um, yeah, I'm not too interested in, in shooting a deer today um, unless it's a, it's a good animal. So. Righto, all packed up. This is my main pack I use for my hunting. Just a overnighter, 36 litre. Does the job, you don't want too much more on your back. Put my little day pack on here, I'll strap on the outside and yeah, good to go. Oh, sweet, let's go. Oh well, we're back down the bottom. The boys are a bit excited. What's up guys? Good morning. What's going on? So no buck scene unfortunately, but that's all good. Awesome night out. Got my turkey. Night away in the tent, always good. Hopefully next time I'll um, have some footage of a nice buck for you. We're not even really close to the, the rut season here. We've still got a good month, so um, see what I can come up with. Anyways, cheers for watching guys. Um, again, if you're new to my channel, got plenty of vids out there to check out, predominantly spearfishing out in the ocean, but yeah, there's a few other hunting vids. Hunting, camping, anything outdoors, that's me. So yeah, have a look, my other videos there. And uh, and if you like what you see and uh, you wanna see a bit more, hit that subscribe button, um, that helps out a lot. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it, also helps out. Um, but yeah, otherwise, whew, get home, some bacon and eggs, and uh, yeah, plan the next adventure. Can't wait. If you want to support my channel, uh, I've got a uh, website with some merchandise, primalpursuit.co.nz. That's my brand. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. But other than that, cheers guys, and I'll see you see you out there on the next adventure.